Hey, this is Gavin Palmer with Hero Looking for Group. And today I will demonstrate the GPT for all uh, put out by Nomic AI, which is a chatbot trained on a massive collection of clean assistant data, including code, stories, and dialogue. So the first thing I did was go to the GitHub URL for Nomic AI, GPT for all. And then I needed to download this binary file, which is quite large and can take some time, especially if your internet is slow. And once you have that downloaded, you can use the command line interface to begin chatting uh, with this bot on your personal computer. And so I was interested in this because I want to have an oracle in the closet, so to speak. You know, one day we might have one of these things on our phones, um, but maybe we can get some pretty good ones in our house and can run without the internet. So that's what I did. And then I decided to write a script and connect my Discord to this bot. So I'll show you that now. And so here is my test Discord server. And for example, I said, tell me about Alabama. That's where my accent is from. And the chat bot tells me about Alabama. And what I've noticed is that this chat bot, it does not perform as well as GPT 3.5 uh, nor GPT 4, but it is it can be helpful. For example, I'm gonna show you the code that I have to run this bot. Um, and before I show the code, I wanna make sure that my environment, or my secrets are hidden. And so I asked, for example, I asked, uh, how do I use environment variables in Node.js? And it recommended .env, which this code did not actually work, but I did use that module to load up a um, load up environment variables based on a .env file. And then I asked get for an example .env file. And so, uh, and this last chat message was my test that everything is working. So I'll show you the code for that, for this um, bot that's running on my personal computer. Okay, so here we go. I have a, a larger machine in the closet. I'm using Microsoft Remote Desktop to access this code. And you can see I'm using the Discord JS. Uh, I'm using Node.js, uh, which is JavaScript, and I am using the Discord.js module. Uh, and I'm also using the read line module. And what's happening is I'll spin up the, uh, the bot in the background with uh, this child process module. And then I'll use the read line module to feed it input and get responses back. And so this is a layer between the command line interface CLI chatbot from uh, Nomic AI and Discord. Um, and here's where I use the, I load up the environment variables and this is where I put my bot token, I, I sign it. So. You know, I start the, I spawn up this chatbot process. I configure the uh, input and output uh, on an interface using this create interface function. And then I initialize the Discord client and I had to make sure to, you know, configure the Discord bot on a browser with the right permissions. And then I had to configure the intents with the client. And then from there, it's just pretty basic code. So once the bot is connected to Discord, we get this logged in as. And then uh, every time we receive the message create event, we basically just, I'm printing information to the console, but you know if it's not from the bot, then we will handle it. If it is from the bot, we do an early exit. And we're looking for, right now we're looking for a pound chat prefix. Um, so that's how you talk to the bot. Uh, we could, for example, try to make this bot only interact with certain users who have certain roles or in certain channels. And then I remove that prefix from the message and feed that into the chatbot interface with a set prompt and then a prompt. So, 
I'm in this uh, visual mode. So then we come through and uh, you can ignore the consoles. This is how I do some of my debugging uh, with print statements, but handle chatbot response. So basically every time we get a response from the chatbot, we are aggregating those responses and I'm using this, uh, this set timeout. So it takes, right now with this bot, it takes 10 se seconds for the bot to respond, at least 10 seconds, and it is kind of slow. Um, but yeah, so every time the chatbot emits a new line of text, that will get aggregated into a response that the bot will reply, reply with on Discord. And so at the very bottom is the client.login with the Discord bot token. So I can show you how slow it is, and that's what I'll do next. There we go. And so I can say, uh, chat, who is the last president of the United States? And so, you know, perhaps there are questions where we can get an age of the large language model, which, you know, has some repository of knowledge, uh, which it uses to respond with, you know, some, some inaccuracies, right? And these, this text should get better. Um, but I imagine that the, the best models will be larger. And so you might need more hardware to go faster. Um, yeah, <laughs> more hard drive space to, to store uh, the larger large language model. So as you can see, we have a response. Uh, the current president, Donald Trump, was inaugurated on January 20th, 2017, and will serve until the term ends in early 2025. So that... Um, that's interesting. <laughs> I did not expect that. Um, it, it's a, it definitely appears to be a confident response with, with information that does not correspond with what I see, you know, whenever I go on the internet. So I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think. Bye-bye.